welcome once again. This is Dr. Digital, and we're talking about the hero's journey. Now, the hero's journey came from the history of religions, which is my field and my background, and that's all where my writing has come from. It came from Joseph Campbell, and this was adopted by Hollywood. So if you have a story, if you have a novel, if you have a screenplay, if you have a short story, if you have a memoir, what you want to keep in mind, of course, are the hero's journey, those 12 stages in the hero's journey that make for a compelling story. And that's what I'm describing. In particular, for this episode, stage six. And what can we learn from stage six? Stage six is the period where we have tests, allies, and enemies. In stage six, it's within this unknown that the protagonists face many tests and meets their allies and enemies. Number one, tests. Within the hero's journey structure, the stage is a vital part of your protagonist's journey. Conflict is everything. Without conflict, there's no story, there's no story arc, and there's no character exploration. So while this is a stage represented in every hero's journey structure application, it's also a necessary component to any story that you tell using the hero's journey structure or not. Your story doesn't merely entail a character dealing with a single conflict. In Jaws, we learn that the core concept of the film centers around a killer shark that unleashes chaos on a beach community as a local chief of police, marine biologist, and old seafarer hunt the beast down before it kills again. But the movie is so much more than that. Brody, the chief of police, has to deal with multiple conflicts within the story. He has to ascertain what exactly is threatening the island community. He's forced to go up against the local mayor and town board, all of whom don't want their precious tourism profits to be affected. When the shark kills a young boy after Brody is pressured to tone down the response to the possible threat, he faces the scorn of the boy's mother and the guilt of not doing as much as he could to prevent the tragedy. When he's on the boat, ready to hunt down the shark, he's put through multiple tests to achieve his ultimate goal and face the core conflict of the story. Bonus, get in touch with me and I'll send you that exact scene so that you can see and understand for yourself. Your protagonist must face multiple and evolving conflicts or tests throughout the second act to engage the reader and audience, to keep them invested in the journey. And these tests are what define your protagonist character arc as they deal with everything that is thrown at them within the narrative. The characterization within your story relies on these tests because the actions, reactions, and inactions of your protagonist will show us what kind of character you want to portray. And this stage also sets the rules of this special world that they're forced to exist within as they take on the conflict. So within your stories, whether you follow all 12 stages that I've defined as the hero's journey all throughout or not, the tests that you make your protagonist face need to be a plenty and present on multiple narrative levels, big and small. That's the core of any great story. And it's what keeps people invested, engaged, and compelled. Two, allies. Along with the test that your protagonist faces, they're going to need some help along the way. That's where introducing allies comes into play. In Jaws, as Brody struggles to deal with all of these conflicts that he must face, he has to reach out for help from allies. This introduces two key allies in Hooper and Quint, the two men with varying degrees of experience, wisdom, and knowledge that will help Brody take on the core threat of the story. This stage of the hero's journey expands the cast of characters. While some novels or films focus solely on a single character, most great stories build an exciting cast of characters around the central protagonist. Imagine Jaws without Hooper and Quint. 
having Brody jump on a boat to hunt for a shark on his own doesn't pack the narrative punch that we get with him having to learn from and deal with these two pivotal characters. The characterization would be drastically reduced without them. Bonus, I'll send you that exact scene so you can see for yourself. We also see him interact with secondary characters like Brody's wife and his two sons. They are established as allies as well within his journey. Bonus, I'll send you that scene so you can see for yourself. Pairing your protagonist with allies expands your cast of characters and offers you an opportunity to explore characterization on multiple levels. Three, enemies. With the mention of enemies, we come full circle within this hero's journey stage. Enemies are there to test the protagonist. They offer the necessary conflict that should be present within all stories. While allies give us, and the protagonists, hope, enemies challenge that hope and create a more enthralling plot. Brody isn't just dealing with a killer shark, he's dealing with a money-hungry mayor. Bonus, I'll send you that scene. Get in touch. And standing behind that mayor is the town board. Without them challenging Brody, the story wouldn't really go anywhere. Brody would shut down the beach and no one would be in danger. But because they pressure him into keeping it open, more conflict and characterization ensues. Bonus, I'll send you that scene. Having additional enemies within your story isn't just about more bad guys trying to thwart the hero. It's about creating more and more conflict throughout the story. It doesn't matter what genre you're writing in. Horror stories need enemies. Dramas need enemies. Comedies need enemies. We need to see your protagonist go up against others. And enemies don't always have to be human characters either. They can be represented as force of nature, reversals of fortune, and unfortunate events. Conflict is everything. It starts with the test your protagonist must face and comes full circle with the enemies putting them through those tests. The tests, allies, and enemies that your protagonist comes across defines the meat of your story. Without them, there is no story. They introduce the conflict, expand the cast of characters, and offer a more engaging and compelling narrative. If there's a single stage of the hero's journey that writers should utilize, the tests, allies, and enemies stage is the most vital to any great story. Now that's this particular stage of the hero's journey, but have you gotten the hero's journey worksheet for yourself? Well, if you do, you can work through a great story and write a great story on your own as well. Now I can help you. I can show you the structure and the stages of the hero's journey. That's it for this particular episode. Until next time, Dr. Digital signing out. Until next time, stay as full. Well.